this. It sounded like it was in pain. And that oop. Hello, everyone. Solo pod today. Actually, Carolyn is here. She's right next to me. She's reading Priest by Sierra Simone. How's that book, honey? Smutty. Smutty. S-M-U-T-T-Y. So here's what happened. 6.15 a.m. Monday morning on I-5 North. Uh, Sacramento skyline, downtown Sacramento skyline to my right. And it's dark and there are many cars on the road, but we're all moving swiftly. It's, it's, a, it's a healthy amount of cars, but everyone's going fast. Uh, and before I know it, a giant piece of debris is on the freeway in front of me. Uh, I don't know if it was a bumper, it might have been metal, it might have been plastic, I have no idea. But, like, I blinked and it was there. Uh, There was a big semi-truck in front of me. They went right over it, I'm assuming. Uh, But before I knew it, before I could avoid it, bam, I slammed right into it. Uh, I didn't have time to swerve, even if I did swerve. Like I said, there were a lot of cars on the road um, at uh, 6.15, which is hard to believe. uh, But that particular area, you got uh, traffic coming from downtown and then traffic coming from uh, me, five. And that oop. So I slam into it. Boom. And I start freaking out. And I'm like, oh gosh, I'm going to have to pull over here in the dark uh, on the side of the road by downtown Sacramento on I-5, busy freeway. Uh, But I kept driving and it kept going. And I was like, okay. And I I heard something. I I was dragging something. I don't know if it was uh, the piece of uh, debris I hit or it was my own bumper. I have no idea. But... It was, so I knew I was dragging something, but, uh, my tires were fine. Uh, There wasn't a flat and the engine kept going. So I was like, okay, I'm still driving. I'm still driving about 20 seconds later, silence. So the thing that was, it was either my bumper or the thing that was stuck to my bumper gone, vanished. Uh, and so I go all the way to work. It's about 15 minutes away from uh, downtown sack and i'm like okay well i made it uh let's let's see what happened let's check out the damage get out my core uh my left front bumper is completely mangled um there's a few wires hanging out uh but half half essentially mm, maybe a third of the bumper is missing the left front uh area is is gone and so I'm like, okay, well, I have to deal with this now. And at that time, uh, my coworker Stephen also pulled up. And Stephen's a real man, although he does spell his first name with a PH. Uh, but he's a real man. So I say, hey, Stephen, can you come over here? And he knows cars and all this stuff. So he wanders over and uh, he moseys over and he. Starts looking at my bumper, pulling on things. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, we'll just take off the the rubber part here underneath the bumper. And then uh, we'll get some zip ties. And we'll just we'll tie the bumper to, to your car, to the top of the car, or whatever. The rest of the hood. The rest of the front part. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab some zip ties. We'll do it on our break. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, thank, thanks, Steven. And then as we're walking in, I'm like, what, what, what would an adult do in this situation? Uh, how, how does the insurance work? Cause it's just these, these, uh, predicaments are few and far between. And I kind of have to Google things and hop on a wiki. How, what do I do if I smack into a bumper on the road? Um, and so he's like, well, you can call your insurance and then tow it to an auto body and blah, 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 auto body shop. 
and then uh, you got your deductible and blah 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 and I'm like oh yeah okay uh, so start sending pictures to my wife Carolyn to my mom uh, to my other co-workers who are good with cars uh, and I'm just like what should I do now and uh, my wife said tow it and uh, I agreed um, just because like if if I got on the road again and yeah, it's zip tied up. And yes, there are many cars that are much worse off than, than my car was. Uh, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want a piece of my bumper or anything to fly off and I get into an actual accident or I cause someone else to get into an actual, actual accident. So I was just like, okay, I guess I'll tow it. So I hop on the horn. Uh, with AAA and I'm also on their app and I'm talking to customer service and I'm tapping and pointing and clicking uh, and then my mom chimes in with you should file a police report and I said mom I, I hit debris on the road I what, what kind of police report could I file uh, so eventually settle on getting towed to a body shop in West Sacramento AAA shows up um, gentleman named Guillermo lovely guy by the way uh, I have the AAA basic plan which is fine until you need uh, a AAA until you actually need them and so AAA basic it's a five mile tow uh, with twelve dollars in a, each additional mile which is gonna be eight miles which is 96 bucks to Guillermo. I'm like, all right, I'm already in that. I'm, I'm already in a hundred dollars. This is, this is fabulous. And even Guillermo, uh, he looked at my bumper and he goes, why don't we just tie it? I could just tie it. You can drive it wherever you want. I'm like, mm. and then I, uh, I said, Guillermo, my wife said to tow it. And he said, Oh, I understand. He put his hand on my shoulder. I put my head down. I dropped it to the ground. That's just, he goes, I understand, man. I get it. Been there, been there. So talking to my boss and uh, I'm like, I'm going to take care of this because I was on the phone from 630 to 7 with AAA um, and I started at 7 and at 7 I find my boss who's around and uh, and he's he's been in on this and he saw my car and he saw I was on the old uh, blower with AAA and I said, uh, I'm going to take care of this. I need to take care of this. So uh, I'm going to take off and uh, handle this. And he said, okay, uh, just text me if you want to come back to work today. And I said, I, I think I'm done for the day, but okay. Uh, I, I'm good. I'm good. But thanks. Thanks for uh, leaving that opening for me. So Guillermo took me through the back roads of old Yolo County. Someone, we... The government is building a giant levee. And I was this, uh, it was like this huge development in the middle of nowhere on roads that I had never been on. And I was like, what's going on? And it's right next to the river, so I assume it's a levee. But I was like, I didn't have no idea this. This is where our tax money is going. Uh, he tows me to Crash Champions, which was the only body shop in West Sacramento. And the next closest body shop was downtown Sac, and I didn't want to deal with that. I wanted to stay in West Sac, West Sac, Best Sac. Carolyn was working from home, so she was around if I needed her for a ride or whatever. Uh, Toads at Crash Champions in West Sac. Uh, lack of urgency by their employees, to say the least. It was just, I was just like, I put the key on the on the counter. I'm like, oh, here's my key to my car. And he's like, oh, just leave it there. And I sat down because I was still like pointing and clicking and tapping and texting and just on the Google uh, Maps and whatever. Uh, so I sat there for about 10, 15 minutes and my keys just sat there on the counter. And I was like, yeah, well, way to instill confidence uh, in, in, your, in your customers. I was just like, you guys don't care or need to take a lesson in customer service uh also they had fake coffee like they had a coffee pot and it looked to be plugged in and brewing 
but I grabbed it for a cup of coffee and it was empty. And I was like, that's great. Thanks for having this coffee pot out with zero coffee. Uh, the guy also said, it may be a total loss. And I was like, total loss, you say? Hmm, time for some insurance fraud, am I right? Uh, so, Crash Champions is on one side of Highway 50 and Enterprise, which was my next step to get a rental car, is on the other side of Highway 50. So, I go on Google Maps and I look and I'm like, oh, okay, I could, I could do this. Google Maps said it would take an hour and 17 minutes to walk from one side of Fiddy to the other. And I was like, I don't think that's accurate. Um, the the path they had was, it went down, it went like uh, west, I, I, I don't know. And I was like, this, it is not gonna take me an hour plus to walk to the other side of Highway Fiddy. And it didn't, it took me just under 40 minutes. I don't know what the hell's up with Google Maps. Lately, maps be tripping lately. Uh, when we went to, uh, Abercrombie outlet in Bacaville, Vacaville, uh, Carolyn and I, let's get breakfast around there. Okay. So I find, uh, Abercrombie on Google maps in Vacaville and then I click nearby and I type in breakfast and it gives me a whole list of results. But as I click these results, these restaurants are in freaking Wisconsin and Minnesota and Georgia. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Google. Hmm. Yeah, they'd be tripping. Uh, so walking from Crash Champions to Enterprise, I walked by this giant UPS facility. Um, there's tons of trucks always coming in and out of there. And I saw a bunch of employees and uh, they were parking on the street. Um, and they were I, they go in there and handle your packages, people. But is it just me or every time I see uh, UPS employees, I'm always like, so are you making like $58 an hour? How about them union contracts, am I right, UPS? Uh, hop. So one side, I basically had to walk over uh, a bridge um, uh, from this side of West Sac to that side of West Sac. And I... I'm look. I'm on top of the bridge, the overpass, if you will, looking down at Highway 50, and all the cars. I'm just like, where is everyone going, man? Finally, get to the other. I mean, finally, it took 39 minutes. Uh, I get to the other side of Highway 50, and I thought, I know who does this walk. We see people who do this walk. My wife and I, when we do our grocery shopping, and whatnot. The unhoused do this walk all the time. No one else is loony enough to do this walk, but uh, we always see those currently temporarily through no fault of their own experiencing homelessness, walking from one side of the freeway to the other. And that's that's about where I was. It was like misty in the beginning too. The weather, cool, misty. I was like, oh, at least it's not 110 degrees. And then it began to sprinkle. And then I was walking so much and so swiftly that I began to sweat. So I was very uh, moist, moisture happening. Lots of sweat, lots of rain, not much rain. It was a light sprinkle. Uh, when I get to the other side of Highway 50, I didn't know where to go, east or west. So I duck into the UNOCAL 76 uh, just to get out of the rain so I can stare at my telephone and Google Maps and find my way. And I figure I'll buy a cup of coffee because they are providing me respite from the elements. But Unical76 wanted a dollar eighty nine for a cup of coffee. And I was like, no, no, no. Dollar tops. That's that's what I'm willing to pay, not a dollar eighty nine. It's also they also have the uh franchise chain of crispy crunchy there spelled with two k's um and there they had a pile of fried chicken at freaking 8 30 in the morning i was like wow who uh, who's out here eating i bet a ton of that goes away or i bet it sits there for uh 14 to 16 hours um waiting for people to buy it but they had piles of chicken and potato wedges and all this fried stuff at 8, 8.30 in the morning. Wild, man. Wild. Uh, almost got breakfast, but 
I was just like, eh, eh I don't want breakfast right now. Uh, and then made it to Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Dealt with a nice gentleman named Ryan Smith. Quite fetching, by the way. And so we're chatting, and I'm telling him uh, the, sitch, the sitch I'm in. And he says, what kind of car are you looking for? And I said, stretch Hummer limo, preferably in yellow. And he laughed. He chuckled. And I said, I still got it. I still got it. I ended up going with the GMC Terrain, which is kind of their light SUV, more of a crossover in white. Because I didn't know how long my car was going to take. And I figured, I mean, I have no idea how long body shops take to do whatever body shops do so i figure a couple days i'll get the little crossover suv action um and AAA covers 25 dollars, and then i cover the rest the, they cover the first 25 dollars. so it was 22 dollars a day for me 47 dollars total a day for this gmc terrain i was like eh, i can uh bounce around in this terrain for a few days and then uh ryan smith asked if i wanted insurance which would have over doubled my cost. It's $31 a day. And I was like, what? That's a ripoff, right? Car insurance at rental car places. That's a freaking ripoff. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, turns out, finally, uh, car crash champions got back to me. It's going to be nine to 10 days at a grand total of $2,375.97. AAA covers, no, the deductible is $500. I cover the first $500, then AAA uh, takes care of it. Um, the next day, I got, I downgraded from a GMC Terrain to a Volkswagen Jetta, which was $12 a day, because I figure 9 to 10 days, $12, saving $12 a day, that's over $100. Um, and extra in my pocket and the GMC terrain was fine. I liked it uh, But I wanted something more familiar to my Kia Optima, which a Four-year-old Jetta certainly is um, The rest of the day I took off so I was done at like 9 30 and I was like eh, I could go to work, but I already drove out there and uh, I took the day off um, Carolyn and I, we got iHeart Teriyaki for lunch, which was good. Yes, there are reports of rats, uh, mice in, in that restaurant at one point, uh, fairly recently, but it was fabulous. You get a whole bunch of protein, lots of rice, and they go with the spring mix for their salad slash vegetables instead of the, uh, iceberg lettuce mix spring mix is a nice upgrade nice touch uh we got a whole bunch of food for 27 dollars and it was lovely and it was an old asian dude running the place and i'm guessing his son uh helping out uh and so yeah we'll definitely be back uh not too much ambiance on the inside we got it to go uh but it was solid, yummy. Uh, Carolyn got the chicken. I got the chicken and the pork. Pork was a little, just not the highest quality, uh, but overall, it was it was yummy. We liked our lunch. Uh, I read a little. We went grocery shopping. There was no Carla, but we still hit up the G O B M. Uh, and then, oh, we picked up Len. So we uh, we picked up Lennox and his two friends, Mid John and Lincoln Wynn. And this was the first time they saw my hair. And Lennox asked, asked them, what do you think of Vince's hair? And they both said, fire. That means good if you're old. And then oh, another fun thing ha that happened is... Uh, so Mid John and Lincoln Wynn live four houses away from each other. And normally when Carolyn, Monday, Thursday, she works from home, when she picks up the three boys, uh, she drops, she stops the car in the middle of their uh, four house uh, divide separation. Then they bound out of the car and they 
Lincoln races to his door, Mid John races to his door, and then they yell, first, or I won, or whatever. It's super fun. I've always been against picking up Lennox because we live a block away from his school. Uh, but Lu but you're not Luna, honey. You're Carolyn. But Carolyn has always said, it's fun, and we get time to chat, and I get to hang out with uh, Lincoln and Mid John. And I gotta say, you're absolutely right. It's a fun to, like they have when they get in the car, they have tons of energy, they're chatting it up, there's there's just da, 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 lots of yapping and uh and the the race between Mid John and Lincoln Win oh, ever entertaining. It's like Carl Lewis in the nineteen eighty four Olympics. Uh so that was Monday. It's been a few days. Uh I'm still freaking out every time I drive by I-5 with downtown Sacramento to my right. I have PTSD. I'm always like, this is where it happened. This is where I hit whatever I hit. I saw a piece of paper on the freeway the other morning. It was just flitting around. I was like, what is that? Is that a rock? Is that a piece? Is that a piece of a bumper? Is that a car? Uh, and I'm doing 55 miles per hour because I'm scared s -less of uh damaging my rental car i don't want ryan smith to charge me for uh infractions i want to sell my car uh my kia optima did the kelly blue book thing four thousand dollars the top value went on carmax.com gave him my estimate whatever i have seat belts yes i have seat belts uh 3500 uh i would love to put that to a down payment on a new car and get a Kia Telluride or a Jeep Renegade. But two of the three most important people in my life, my mom and Pally, I consulted on if I should uh, tell the body shop to fix it or try to get uh, cash out uh, and sell it through CarMax as a down payment for a new car uh my mom and pally who both said just repair it um and yeah and my wife agreed i know i know listening to a woman about a car am i right uh but i don't want to take on new debt as much as i want a new to me car uh, i would go through carmax just because they make the process super easy um i just i'm not going to do that but i want a new car and i've been on carmax.com and their app constantly looking at jeep renegades and kia tellurides kia tellurides are double the price but man they look smart uh and they look so cool uh the other day in my rental vehicle um we're pulling in to our uh, garage to our condo and i told carolyn get out go uh, go inside go inside the house because i didn't want her to see me struggle trying to get this uh suv light thing into our narrow narrow garage if you're just tuning in we have two one car garages that meet at the corner but carolyn's uh one car garage her her side is uh, wider and then mine's more narrow and the turn is a little bit hairier uh, but I said honey get out go inside I don't want to I don't want you to see me struggle parking and I don't want you to laugh I don't need this embarrassment uh, another thing I know is yesterday morning driving to work uh, these these trucks that are either coming from a construction site or, or uh, going to a construction site or whatever that have rocks as their payload they don't strap their their uh tops down or they, they don't secure their loads so there's rocks poof, 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 bouncing around and i'm like this is my new freaking rental car dude that's annoying that's yeah well rocks coming uh out of trucks and hitting our vehicles all over the roadways is annoying and 
the helicopter that just went by, which you may or may not have heard. Also annoying. Um, but so my, my Kia Optima has had a crack in its windshield that goes from left all the way to the right for about a decade from a rock at one point uh, in my life. And I refuse to uh, call safe flight because I, I, I don't know. I'm not a real adult and I figure I'll just ignore it and nothing will happen. But seriously, can we all agree that uh, rocks coming from trucks uh, and semis and uh, giant vehicles bouncing all around the freeway uh, and hitting our windshields and shh, causing cracks and smashes and punctures on our windows. It's too much already. It's enough. It's enough. Uh, another thing is that, uh, so I, I like to leave my keys in my car when I come home to park in my tiny, tiny, narrow garage. I leave my keys in the car. I just, it's just easier. I leave my wallet in there too. So if you want to, uh, uh, wallet jack me, uh, feel free, feel free. Good luck guessing my chase ATM password. Carolyn brings her keys inside, leaves them downstairs in the atrium, but then she brings her purse all the way upstairs into our bedroom. It's, it's, it's one of the, it's where our love diverges. How will our marriage work, honey? Um, but I keep the keys. I keep my wallet downstairs because I don't want to forget it in the morning. Um, but with the uh, GMC terrain, I left my keys in, in the, in the, in the vehicle and, uh, I get out of the car like normal and start me, me, me. You left your keys inside. You left it. I was like, what the hell, dude? Let me leave my keys inside. Volkswagen Jetta doesn't do that. Um, another, another place our love diverges is I leave the windows down in my car when we're parked in the garage. Cause I like fresh air. As my mom would say, fresh air, fresh air. I like fresh air. And I leave my wallet in there. I leave my keys in there. Carolyn, the exact opposite. Windows all the way up. Uh, keys inside the house. Purse next to our bed. Uh, and she's always saying, because I leave my key windows open, uh, there's, you're going to get spiders, you're going to get bugs. And yes, I've had bugs and spiders, but what about the fresh air? As Grandma Tian would say. Um, another thing I'm missing is that I got no base. My uh, 15 inch subwoofer, Sherwin Vega, and my uh, 500 amp MTX audio uh, in my Kia Optima is still in my Kia Optima. And the freaking GMC Terrain and the Volkswagen Jetta, there's no bump, man. There's no bump, there's no bass. So, how, how am I going to pull up to the club now? Uh, but as far as the GMC train, I love the roominess. I could, I just imagine taking me, Carolyn, Lennox, Luna on a trip in comfort and style. Uh, but I did downgrade to the Jetta because it's cheaper and it's just more familiar to my Kia Optima. Uh, the terrain, I was like, this, this is different. It's not like I don't like it, but I'm not used to it. Uh, also, I haven't connected my Bluetooth because I don't want enterprise to get my call uh, history, my contact list. Because once I connect, it's going to all go in there, right? That's how the cloud works. Alrighty. Well, I think we're done. Uh, I got an email today from Crash Champions about my car. Uh, they got it. It's being worked on. It's underway. Nine-ish days. Maybe ten. I'll have the VW Jetta until then. But I'm only driving to work because I just I don't I don't want to get it wrecked. I don't want to hurt it. I don't want to get charged by Enterprise. So Carolyn's driving me around uh, anything non work related, and she's happy to do that, right, honey? Right. Okay, she said right. Well, we're done, and that's it. Okay, take care. Brush your hair. Peace out. Yeah.